Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. Today I'll be starting a new series and it's going to be called Throwback Palette Thursday. I'm going to be doing this uh, in place of my three minute tips for a little while. It is a, uh, a series that I thought about and a lot of ladies have these palettes. Um, and I was just going to go ahead and do a tutorial and show you older palettes that people might have instead of the newer ones. So if you would like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, ladies, the first palette I'm going to be using is the Riviera palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But like always, I always use my L'Oreal um, cream palette shadow first so I'm going to go ahead and put that on all over my lid mobile lid and upper lid okay, got that on the first shadow that I'm going into from the palette is Monte Carlo and that's that pink right there and I'm using a um, Sigma uh, I've worn it off I think it's an 80 25 or 35 so I'm going to take that shadow and I'm going to use it right in that crease. You know guys, I understand that, that a lot of people, they don't have, a lot of ladies don't have, they don't have money to go out and buy every single new thing that hits the market. I'm one of those. so. You're looking at an influencer that is very selective on the things that she buys because I'm going to be honest with you, I just don't have the cash flow to go out and buy the latest and greatest new thing. And you know, there are some wonderful palettes out there, I'm not going to lie, wonderful makeup. But um, I looked around my collection and I'm thinking, you know, I have some good stuff. And there are a lot of ladies out there that have the palettes that I have and would like to go back and use them <clears throat> and get looks out of them, get more use out of them. Because I know for me, once I get a new palette, I will use it to death because I want to get all the looks I can out of it at first. And then sometimes it's forgotten, and I go on to whatever. If I get a new palette, I'll go into you know into that, I kind of forget what I have. So I get it. Next color I'm going into is going to be Bahamas, which is this pink right here. And I believe this is a pressed pigment, so you have to dip lightly into those. Um, the reason I say that is because they are a little bit harder to work with. They pack more punch as far as shade, uh, shades and pigment, but you have to be careful because you can get too much if you're not careful. So I put that right in the crease of the lid, right where the mobile lid and the upper lid connects. And then bring that down and get a little bit more. <clears throat> put it there, bring it over. So this is the look we're going for. It's a, it's a pink purple look. It's one of my favorite looks. I have several palettes that I can use that'll give me this look. Um, I'm gonna go back into Monte Carlo here. <clears throat> and blend those two together a little bit. Here you can see they're blending together. Now the next shade, I'm going to use this e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. crease brush. It's the long tapered brush. So um, this is a nice crease brush. I'm going to go into cans or cons right there. It's that purple. And I'm going to put it right on the outside. give it like a V, like I did over here on this eye. <clears throat> right on the outside of that 
that lid head ditching and I'm bringing it over you don't want to bring it up too far because I'm going to go back in with that first shade and kind of blend them all together This is a beautiful palette, and I think I did a look with it not, um, well, it's been a good long time ago. But this is um, a bright palette that you can take on like beach vacations, and you can wear with all your pink and purple things. And you know, you can get a lot of looks out of this, a lot of versatile looks, um, or you know, it's a versatile palette. <clears throat> So then I'm going to go back in with my first brush into Monte Carlo and I'm going to just bring that down around that purple. I'm going to blend that, blend that a little bit more in with that, like I said, the purple. So you've got three shades going on. If you didn't want to do all these shades, you could definitely knock it down to two or even maybe one and just go a little bit heavier with the one shade on the outside. I mean, you can get you can get looks like that with one shade. Then I'm going to go into Palermo right here. It's that pink. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it right in the center of the lid like that then I'm going to go into any highlight highlighter will do um, I would stay away from like yellow highlighters but this is like a an iced highlighter this is from the Ulta baked glow and sculpt you put that highlighter right in the inner corner so that's what it looks like when I have my eyes closed I'm going to blend it just a little bit more <clears throat> and then I'm just going to take the tip of this this blending brush and wipe it off and then I'm going to bring all those colors together on the inside of my eye. Blend them together a little bit to where they look uniform. Okay. Then I'm going to go back into the purple, which is cans. I think it's how you say it right here. I'm going to do just a little bit of a wing. <clears throat> just a tad and I'm going to bring it underneath my eye over to almost the inner corner I almost got through the tutorial without my nose running <laughs> okay and then I'm going to take a pencil brush this is what is this this is actually Yonique brush that I got or Yonique years and years and years ago it's a pretty good pencil brush okay and then i'm going to go back into the highlight right here and i'm going to put that on the inner corner you could use the white in the palette which is called sales mm, excuse me but I think it's too much of a look for me anyway. Um, I know, you never thought you'd hear me say that, right? <laughs> but this is the color that I'm talking about. A lot of ladies use that right in their inner corner. It is pretty. Okay, so I've got that all blended the way I want it. Now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Primer. I love this stuff. That's what that looks like right now. Then I'm going to go into the highlight again, finish this eye look off. 
with this brush here, which is actually a lip brush, but I use it for this, and bring it over and down. And then I'm going to use my Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I usually let my primer dry a little bit more, but for time's sake, I'm just going to go over. A lot of ladies like to use it right after their primer, but I find for me, I just, I like it better if I use it, if I let my eyes set just a minute. Okay, there's that. I'm going to put one more coat, let it dry just a minute, one more coat. Then I'm going to go finish up the eye brow. Where'd that go? Okay, so I'm going to use my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. A lot of these products I've had, so it's not like I've gone out and bought new stuff. And I've got flyaway hairs everywhere. <laughs> but it's not preventing me from doing the video. So there's the gel. Then I'm going to go in with my spoolie. I just did a three minute tip on that and I'm going to press up, push up those hairs the way I've been wearing my eyebrows. To finish off that look. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my bottom, my bottom lash mascara. This is an old mascara I've been using. I've got another one. I need to open it up. <clears throat> I'm going to brush off the bake. That is this eye look with um, pink purple look with the Riviera palette. Um, I love it. I've always loved this look. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you ladies so much for sticking around with me today for my new series, Throwback Palette Thursday. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, so click that little subscribe button down below. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me. I will be back here on Saturday with a car vlog. You guys have a great rest of your week.